Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be completing our app here. We are going to be using Firebase Auth to allow users to create accounts using their emails on our app. And we are going to be using Firebase Auth to allow those users to log in to our app using their details. If you haven't watched the first part of this tutorial where we created the user interface for this app, the link is in the description down below. You don't have to watch it to understand the contents of this video. But it's a cool video you know you can watch it if you want in the previous video we created this registration form here but it is not functional yet so in this video i'm going to write the code that allows our users to be created using this form using firebase authentication are you ready let's get started the first thing to do in order to register our users we're going to launch our app we are going to launch our app using live server and from there we are going to create our javascript files we are going to open the sign up page and we are going to create a javascript file named register the js this is where all our code for registration form is going to go and in our sign in form we are going to import our script script we are going to say script then we are going to say type and the type is going to be module this will allow us to import firebase functions into our into our app so next we're going to say source and we're going to say register.js and we're going to defer this so that it loads after everything is loaded to write the code for authentication file we're going to go back to firebase.com head on over back to firebase and click on get started once you're in firebase you are going to add another project and then give it a name i'm going to give it the name of task sync mm, vision 2 and then click on continue and then we're going to disable google analytics and create our project this is going to load it's going to configure our project which will take some time like and subscribe share the video with a friend if they are into programming so after this is done we are going to click on continue and this will take us to our project overview here so in the project overview what we're going to do we're going to click on our web application because that's what we're creating we're creating a web application and then here yeah, we're going to register our app so we're going to give it our name test i'm going to give it the name of test and I'm just going to click on register our app. If you want to host your app on Firebase, you can check this option here, but I won't be doing that. I'll be using Netofly and GitHub to host our project. There are multiple ways to use Firebase in your project. You can use the Node Package Manager to install Firebase and then use it, or you can use JavaScript using this function over here. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy this function that we're given over here. This is basically the code that you need to use Firebase in your project. So we're going to copy that and we're going to paste it in our registration folder. I'm going to copy that, paste it here, and then Control S to save. And then we're going to go back to Firebase. We're going to click Continue to Firebase Console. And this is going to take us to this window over here. And in this window, we're going to click on Firebase Authentication because that's the function that we need. We need Firebase Authentication to register our users. Once it takes you to this page, we're going to click on Get Started. And this will take you to this page right here. So you're going to click on Email and Password and make sure that it is enabled because that's what we're going to be using to register our user their email and their password so from there you're going to click on save and boom we are done setting up our firebase project uh, the next thing we need to do is just write the code for firebase authentication so i'm going to erase the comments because they are distracting what you basically need to know here is that we are importing Firebase initialize app from Firebase and these are our app credentials you know we've got our API key our authentication domain our project ID storage bucket 
app id etc that basically everything firebase needs to confirm that all the requests that are going to firebase are coming from our app to write the function to create our users we are going to need to go back to firebase and open the firebase doc documentation Another thing I might have neglected to mention is that we are importing initialize app from Firebase. So I'm going to need to copy the link to Firebase app and replace that. We are importing our Firebase authentication from a JavaScript file named Firebase app on Firebase servers. So in order to log in our users using Firebase, we are going to need to we're going to need to import Firebase authentication using this line over here. This import get Firebase auth and import another function called create user with email and password. These two functions are the functions that we're going to be using to create our users on our Firebase database. To import get auth and create user with email and password, we need to import that file from somewhere so we're importing firebase authentication meaning we're going to need to copy this link over here which takes us to firebase auth so we're going to replace this right here with the link to that file mm, everything looks okay and then save so after initializing our app we're going to also need to initialize firebase auth below it so we initialize our app taking our app configuration as our perimeters and when we initialize firebase auth we're going to need to take our app as our perimeter or argument so we're going to save that and after that we have a function here called create users with email and password this is the function that we're going to use to create our function but before we create our function we're going to need to use javascript to grab our input fields here we're going to need to grab these input fields and we're going to need to grab this submit button over here uh, remember when we created these buttons over here we gave them ids so we're going to use those ids to grab these input fields so the first thing we'll do is we'll start by grabbing this button over here which is sign up we're going to go to our javascript file and we're going to say submit button and we're going to say const const sign up is going to be equals to document that get element by id and the id we've given this button is sign up like that so once we've grabbed this button over here we are going to basically take the button it's sign up and we're going to add an event listener to it the event that we're going to be listening to or listening for is click so whenever that button is clicked we are going to run this function and we're going to take in that event as a perimeter and so here whenever this button is clicked whenever the sign up button over here is clicked we are going to need to run this function so to test if this thing works we can mm, say alert and success success click and save that sign up sign up so the name of our function or uh, the name of our button is going to be mm, no not you the name of our sign up button it's going to be sign up not capital it is sign up like this so we are going to grab our sign in button and we're going to add the event listener of click into it and when it is clicked we're going to run this function so to test it we are going to print the message success when it is clicked so i'm going to click on and then success so this proves that our function is working everything is working accordingly so i'm going to remove this thing here yeah. after removing this thing i'm just going to prevent the form from submitting 
whenever whenever we click on the submit button without putting in anything so we do that by uh, preventing the default within our function here we are going to need to paste this function to create users on firebase but what you will notice about this function here is that it needs firebase auth as a perimeter and it needs an email and a password so what we're going to do before we paste copy and paste this file into our function we're going to grab our input fields here we're going to grab these three input fields we're going to say const email is equals to document the get element by id and we gave our input field the id of email and we're going to grab the rest we're going to have password is equals to document the get element by id which is password and we're going to have const username username is equals to document the get element by id and user user name another thing you'll notice is that these things are input fields so we are not going to just grab the input fields we are going to need to grab their values so we're going to extract their values using value here yeah. values we're going to need their values after that let's see your username your email and your password our input fields have been grabbed successfully so after that we're going to need to cut this function here and we're going to paste it in here so basically what's happening here is that we're grabbing our input fields and then we're calling a function called create user with email and password from which we imported from firebase here after that we're going to put in we're going to add our username into here our username so that they use our use username as well that's basically it our our function is created our function has been created this is all the code you need to create a user using firebase so to test if it works i'm going to enter my email i'm going to enter my name and i'm going to enter my email and i'm going to enter a password and i'm going to enter submit no don't see and let's see what's up where is our users so our users here is basically created as you can see here our user has been created we've successfully used our code here to create our user here so another thing we can do is try is try to give our users error messages when they occur so here i'm going to uh, click on error message i'm going to alert our users to in the error message error message and then click on successfully and another thing we can do is once our user is created we are going to take them back to the login page so that they they can log in so to do that i'll say alert and say account created just to alert them that their account has been created and i'm going to and i'm going to redirect them back to the login page location dot href is close to let's say index.html like that so let's do this again let's create another user mm, we go we go to our form here and we uh, use the name bobby or bobby not like that and then we create a we use the email of bobby at gmail.com and we give it a random password and we're going to click on submit and then save and we get our user is created and then okay and we are redirected back to our login page